tonight, a revised proposal to improve Comstock is put before the township's board of trustees. Uh, not only is it being sold as a way to liven up that part of the Kalamazoo area, but it's also meant to create housing to accommodate an increasing population. News Channel 3's Princess Johnny Steverson joining us live. She was at that board meeting tonight. And Princess, you say there was mixed feelings about this proposal. There was, and for some it was about bringing more entertainment to the area, and for others it raises a scary probability of losing money with no plan in sight to get it back. It'll help in some areas if they could draw the people out here. Monday afternoon, News Channel 3 spoke to Larry Rabbit. He's a Comstock resident of nearly 30 years who is on the opposite side of the fence as this man. This is all kind of a complex uh, process that takes small steps, sometimes big steps. And that's Steve Deisler. He's the executive director of Comstock Township's Downtown Development Authority. He's also the one spearheading the 2024 Riverfront Redevelopment Concept Plan. It's an agenda meant to uplift the livelihood of downtown Comstock with new commercial spaces, lofts, townhomes, and a brew pub on the southeast corner of King Highway and River Street. The strategic strategy will continue to evolve and get us to our ultimate vision of a redeveloped site that has new jobs, new housing. The plan was proposed back in 2019 and has now been repurposed with appraisals, environmental testings, and site plannings. And it's now been presented in a special joint board meeting with the Comstock Township Board of Trustees and DDA's board. But you got to bring the city traffic out here, you know, and they move towards Portage and westward right now. Longtime local and manager of Rabbit Hutch, a little shop selling everything from movies on cassette tapes to live bait, says he would be in favor of a spruced up downtown. But that's only if Mr. Deisler can show him a plan explaining where the money will come from and how it'll keep circulating. He says it's a plan that he's been waiting on for five years now. I told him, I said, you know, you tear this thing down to build a new building in two years. When it's finally done, I'll be broke anyway, so I wouldn't have a business left. We secured state and county funding in 2023. Just recently, we've been awarded another grant uh, from a local foundation that uh, is a, a matching grant. We will get $100,000 if we can come up with a local match of $45,000. Deisler says the people of Comstock deserve to have amenities that bring them enjoyment. Locals at the meeting say the board and Deisler need to focus on making affordable housing before anything else, being that a number of homeless live near the desired development site. The future of the development will be decided in a future meeting.